all right you welcome to the beat breakdown where i'll show you how to make a rema type beat so this is the project I already made the beat so i'll just show you how i was able to put it all together from the drums to the melodies and the chords and all of that so let's let's get it let's hear the beat first then i'll explain the breakdown So I'm going to show you how I was able to make the beat and um, I started with this guitar loop. I got it from one of the sample packs um, I, I bought, I think. I have so many packs. I'm sure it's one of my recent packs that I just bought. So this is the guitar. That's the guitar. Then um, I have a section here where the guitar became different. I think it's here. So that was the um, that's basically the building block for this song. The guitar loop was crazy, so just built around that so um next my drums it's just a simple kick and a percussion that's the snare this is the kick then the percussion is here So that was basically it for the drums and the verse. Then next I played these instruments. Let's listen to it. That's my 808. Play it with this. It is sick. What what I use for my eight oh eight is um this plugin. Let me fish it out. Yes, eight oh eight bloodline. I use eight oh eight bloodline for my eight oh eight is sick. Um, then what else did I play? Then I have a vocal chop here. So that's vocal chop. Then um, what else? I have a wine here. No, I have a wine. Some I think this is it. So that's my flutes to add some, you know, mystic to it. You know, Rema always like to add some strange elements to his sound, so I play that in. Then this section here, I used a slide that is um, a pitch bend for these flutes. I 
I use the pitch bend there. Same thing. This place here was now layered with another. This it was still layered again with 808. Then this place here, different bass line here. I just kind of like it's kind of alternate. The patterns are alternate to give the beats rhythm so it won't sound too repetitive so it's basically just um a repetition but I'll add some things take out some things maybe reduce the how f frequently the bass line moves and make it a bit straight then bring in some elements so that was how i just built the verse the verse is really simple but i just alternated a lot of um instruments In this place here i increased added a snare to a different snare to the drums to create another section that's the second half of the verse let me solo the drums So that was what I did for the verse there. Then um let's head on to the hook to the hook. Still pretty much the same, just I added some shaker, I added a shaker and um a chord to the hook. Let's listen to the chord here. That was what I played. I just followed the guitar loop. That is the guitar sample. Then again, I played some more flutes. For this guitar flute, I used Nexus Rainforest Flutes. It's the default sample, the default sound in Nexus when you just get Nexus. Nothing much, just simple for the chords that I used Nexus also. I use Nexus most of the time for I use Nexus most of the time for most for my sound. Like I hardly make a beat without using Nexus. Maybe I can try and make my next beat without using Nexus. <laughs> so um what else again did I play? Let's see. What else did I play? Okay, I'm saying I, I played something with purity. Did I? Let's see if I play. Okay, let's listen here. Yes, I did play something with purity. This this sound here. This is for the second part of the hook to give it more rhythm and variation. That's why I played it there. So that was it for the hook and I just basically looped the whole thing and created the next verse and the next verse. This song has two verses, three hooks and a bridge, there's a bridge here.
so the, it's just an eight bar bridge nothing fancy then um my rolls i used to add some rollings to make the beats more interesting here you see a roll here Just a road and a crash. Then here I reverse the crash here to make it sound interesting also. Let me solo that. Let's see to make it sound interesting. Then here, so all these rows and um, drops is just to make the beat sound interesting and give it some life, even if nothing really changed, but to make give that feeling like something changed. So that's basically how I made this Rema beat from the drums, simple drums, nothing special. This shaker. Okay, I got this loop from, um, I think, let me see the name, from Unison Kits. I bought the kits. You can Google them. I forgot the website. I saw the adverts on Instagram and I just love their, the preview of the kits and I bought it. So I used the kits for this. Um, let's see what I did. I don't think that is how it came originally. Okay, I didn't add any EQ, nothing. That's how it came. Wow. So, um, what else again? Just the only thing I different from the hook and the verse primarily is this shaker, this sample here. That is the only thing that's different. You no, know, if I take it out, it sounds the same. So just little changes to little changes make big differences that's my principle in production and mixing you know i don't need to do too much to make it sound so good just little difference So that's how to make a Rema type beat. Take care.